Hey everyone, Sarah here again today to do another layout with the Adventure Adventure Awaits kit and the add-on, the travel add-on kit. And I really think that I use mostly the travel add-on kit for this layout. Um, I do use bits and pieces from the main kit and the embellishment kit as well. Um, but right now I'm going through and uh, trying to figure out what paper I want to use. And I just love the sunglass paper. I don't know about anybody else, but I just thought it was the cutest. So I'm going to cut it down so it'll fit on my eight and a half by 11. Um, believe it or not, this is not the first time I have scrapbooked this picture. You guys have not seen me scrapbook this picture itself, but, um, I am doing an eight and a half by 11 album as well. Um, I do some of my scrapbooking for my, uh, you know, make some pages and stuff for my mom as well. And so I do the 12 by 12 format. And then I also do eight and a half by 11. A lot of the time, um, I have one that I am doing that you guys have seen some of, and I did kind of take a break from, of, um, you know, old stories, new ways that me and Susanna Lee are doing. Um, but there's been a lot going on. So uh, we did not do that one this month. I believe we are going to attempt to come back next month with it. Um, but I am doing that one eight and a half by 11. And like I said, some of these are also eight and a half by 11. And I'm sitting here trying to do a voiceover. And my cat decided to open the door on his own because he wanted to be with me. Um <laughs> Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this 12 by 12 sheet of paper apart that has so many cool little pieces. This really went a completely different way than I was planning on it going because when I decided to change the paper from that rainbow stripe because it was so bold and my daughter had already made a comment about how she loved this sunglass paper. And so I went ahead and changed the paper to that. So it kind of changed the color scheme that I was going to use as well. Um, but you'll see me move things around because I still kind of had it in my head that I was going to go a completely different way with it, but you know, I'm happy with the way it turns out in the end. Um, I went ahead and cut this apart and I'm trimming it down. So, cause I'm honestly not sure at this point, Hey, am I going to use that or not? Um, because I just like that orangey color. I think it goes well with this. I like the little, it's in with like the yellow that's on the background behind the sunglasses, the orangey color is like the little flowers that's on that. Um, and so I thought it'd be, an, you know, cool to bring in a little more of that. I knew there was a couple pieces in here that I could use between the embellishments and the stickers and everything that were kind of along that line. Um, I don't even, I don't even back my photo in this, you know, um, I stick enough stuff behind it and I decide to make the picture, you know, an area where I can stick cards behind and have a place for journaling. So that's what I'm doing right here. I am getting my 3D foam out. I'm going to do two layers so that it's popped up and uh, it makes it easier for it to slide in, especially with the fact that it's going to be going across the, the layers of paper behind it. Um, and then I'll fold a piece over and put it, a, you know, a skinnier version on the back side where it's going to be stopped at. And I'll stick multiple things behind this. But I love this card, though. It says, I haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list. And my daughter already has a list of places to go, and I hope that she does. So to start out, I went ahead and added that one but I wanted some of the pink in there and I love that little yellowy greeny color so I went ahead and added it so it gives me plenty of places to add my journaling and add some of the things that went on that day and everything like that um this little bus has absolutely nothing to do with the layout itself I mean yeah we went on a road trip it was great but it's just too cute so I'm like yeah I'm gonna use it um, I thought I was going to use this orange piece here, but for me, it just felt like it was too small. I wanted something bigger. Um, so I'll move that out of the way and I will use the tag. And I'll stick my little car down and I'm going to try to layer some things behind it. Some things won't work. Some will. Um, I love these vellum pieces and I like the little birds on it, but I wanted to use the circle portion or the rounded area, I guess. So I went ahead and added that back there. And I didn't think that I was going to use that little tab. And then I'm like, ooh, I can add some more gold and vellum down here. So I used both pieces. Um, I love these little sunglasses. But I wasn't liking how they looked just there. And I remembered there was a cute little sun. Um, and you'll see me continue to try to use florals. 
I do use a little bit of greenery right there. Um, and I try to use the flower again. And there's flowers up there, up top, above the layout, you know, and I keep trying. But I see this sun, and it just says hi, but the sunglasses fit perfectly on it. So, of course, I'm using the sun. <laughs> um, I like this little sticker. It says right here. And uh, it actually, because the photo is popped up, I have to put a little bit of adhesive uh, 3D foam behind that, uh, that piece. The right here arrow. Wow, words. I totally blanked there for a second. Um, I'm already starting to stick some glue uh, behind these items because I'm like, hey, they're stained. I'm just to that point already. Um, and so here I'm cutting the foam and I'm going to go ahead and stick it behind that arrow. I like the blue color anyways. It's cute. And it's repeated in the sunglasses and everything. So it's not a big deal. Pretty much here, because I use that sunglass paper, I could choose from any color in this kit and probably use all of it. Um, I'm just roughing up the edges like I always do. Again, going back and trying to use florals. Um, yeah, they don't stay. I think I use one flower on this layout. I kept trying to use more and more of those thickers. I love those thickers. But they just, they weren't working for what I wanted. I found more of this orange. And I know I'm using another orange piece on top of it. They are a little different. Um, but I was like, okay, well, this is how it's going. And <laughs> I'm going to make it work. And I do. Um, I, you know, cut that little tag or label or whatever it was. It had a cute floral on it, but I hide it. Um, and then I cut this off as well. I kind of hate that I cut this off because I liked the, the sentiment that was on it through my lens because this is me seeing my daughter through my lens, keeping the memories through the pictures that I've taken of her. Um, but I use it as an embellishment. I cut it off and slid it behind this and I'm still trying to find something else that will go down there to kind of mimic some of the other colors that are up top where the large cluster is. Um, in my brain, I was like, I need something to level it out. I need a light pink or I couldn't do light blue, which I'm pretty sure you'll see me try light blue um, because it's on light blue. So I don't need the light blue. Um, there I went trying to pick up another flower. I use one light pink flower. It wasn't enough for me, but it was enough for me to be able to say, okay, I am sticking these together. And so I grabbed my bags of ephemera and I'm going through and I try that little off like it's a greeny blue color and so you'll see me try the pink here and I thought I might stick that greeny blue color in there too but it just doesn't work because it's too close to the other one so I went ahead and used the pink tried to use that one somewhere else as well so it's just going back in the ephemera pack um for now you know it'll get used eventually so I went ahead and adhered that down too I love like I hate that I did not use these I was like why did I not think of that um but, you know, it is what it is. I'll use it on another layout. Um, that word sticker says, enjoying the journey. Rest and relax is the one above. And then explore was the other one I sat right on top of the photo. And I went ahead and grabbed these from uh, Echo Park. And they're the... Yep, those things. Um, and I just shoved a couple here and there. And I'm going to clean everything up. You'll see me doing that right here. I'm getting everything out of the way, which means I'm bringing my stuff out to splatter. Um, I'm going to splatter some black on the white area, and that will finish this layout. Um, I don't know. It was fun for me. I'm liking that it turned out a little different than I planned, and I really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out mercytierakits.com. There'll be links below. Make sure to join the Facebook group too. And if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe so you're notified when I upload again. Um, and watch for the new kit release on the 1st. You'll love it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.